Hi guys, this is Velvet Sky and you are watching AJWF on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe and I like this channel so much because I know and I have seen they have a huge Velvet Sky collection. So they are okay in my book. So again guys, like and subscribe. You will not be disappointed and we'll see you there. Bye. Welcome back guys to another AJWF. Don't worry, it's not Willow, it is me. We're looking at the Jeff Hardy collection today, come join me. So guys, here we are with the Jeff Hardy collection. I uh, can't find all of it, there's, there's too much. He's got so much merch, hasn't he? So many figures, it's unreal. Um, I'm going to take you through a few of my favourites though. Um, go from the early ones, back when I was a wee lad, uh, and go and work your way through. Um, Jack Pacific, these are the ones I mainly remember. Um, just look at it, look how basic these things were. But this to me back in the day was absolutely epic. Can't beat it at all. Um, so yeah, that's the, the first one I'm going to show you. Look at the... See, they even had the armband, the detail back then, for how long ago this was. Fantastic. Um, another one that I really liked from the really early days, this one. See that? He had like, the body paint on him, he had the uh, bandana. See that around the back of him? Yeah, I always liked this one. This one, I think he won plenty of Royal Rumbles back in the day. Um, they did start getting a bit better. I'm just trying, I'm grabbing a few of my favourites. Uh, this one. Some people might look at it and not think it's anything special, but for me, I just really liked it. I thought the, the pink armband, with the whole blue-grey kind of armband, it's really, well, the face scan is fantastic. And you've got to remember, this isn't like what they use today with Mattel. You know, this was a long time ago, and the detail is just blows it away. Brilliant. Uh, we do get, obviously, the face paints as well, which he's well known for. We all love Jeff and his face paints, but look at that. For me, one of my favourite face paints of Jeff's. This is back in the WWF, well, WWE as it is now, era. This was another one that I always remember, always sticks in my mind. Out of all these figures, all the figures they had, I just like the black and the green and the white tank top. I just think it stood out loads. It was really cool. Um, they did have the, also the deluxe aggression ones. It's kind of like a Mattel Elite nowadays. We had the, the what's it called, like the stomach crunch or ab crunch in the middle. So, yeah. And again, for me, the scans are just so good, aren't they? And of course, we also got the old face paint, like a blood red. Really like it. The white bands or the armbands. So cool. Really cool figures. I really like them. Um, I'm going to show you a few of the random ones that I did like. This was when they did like the classic series when they kind of, they're all rubber. It's kind of like a, an LJN style figure for those that are aware of LJN. But yeah, I, I personally, I thought it was really good. It's like a cartoony Jeff coming to get you, isn't he? He's brilliant. <laughs> Um, what are these called? Is it R3? Something like that? They're like real scan technology, I think. Don't get me wrong, there's a few others actually. This one here, uh, and that one actually. They're really cool, this detail on is brilliant, but yeah. For me, like I said, I, I'm, obviously, I am biased, I'm a Jeff Hardy fan, but yeah, the detail that went into these figures. Blew you away back in the day. Uh, I'm just going to go to his little TNA run. This was an early TNA one that I got. Uh, these ones were so bad, they're kind of cool. You can see there, face scan, it's not the best. Um, but the rest of it, you know, it's Jeff Hardy. What more do you want? Black and the white on the old armbands. Really like it. Um, he did go to TNA when Jax lost the WWE license and they went on to get the TNA and he had plenty of figures with them. In fact, there's one of the best ones down there sitting down, the old Enigma shirt on. That came in a two pack with Brother Matt. But this is another one. I just want to point these out because for me, the face paint on these when TNA and Jacks got together. Unreal. I'll just show you a couple because I just really like face paint more than anything. And this one has even got like the green metallic paint which is a, a nice touch. I hope the camera is picking this up, I really do. Because uh, yeah, these figures, for me and the face paint, really cool. Grab this one. There is another face paint I'm going to show you as well because for me the next one pops more than ever. It's the one with the pink armband and this on display, look at that. It just stands out, doesn't it? You can put it anywhere in the collection and the pink arms 
stands out, but the face paint for me again, so good, isn't it? I really like it. Um, yeah, and obviously, before he just got released the other day, he was with the Mattel. This one's a really quite recent basic one. I really like the head scan. I might put that on Elite Body eventually, because I like the old fluorescent kind of face paint on him. It's kind of cool. And this was, I'm picking this one out. <sighs> I think it's the Chase Elite. Now for me, this is one of the worst flipping face paints ever. I just, I don't know, it's just too busy for me. I don't like it at all. Compared to some of the other ones he's had that are really good, this one just doesn't do it for me. Um, I do want to show you some of the uh, mint on card ones as well that I've still got here. Um, so yeah, we'll move on to them in a second. Let me just take a few pictures of this lot. I'll put it on and I'll be right back. Guys, I did just really want to point out these TNA. These are like special edition. I think some might have been a ringside exclusive, not 100%. But yeah, well, in fact, as I say that, look at the sticker on the front. Ringside exclusive. <laughs> so there it is. But yeah, for me, these three, all of them, absolutely brilliant. they has got like their face mask on, which was epic. And these boxes also, you know, they make it just as epic. Look at that. It just looks like a, a piece of art, doesn't it? But the figure inside, absolutely and utterly brilliant. I love this one. Um, obviously there is these two as well. Glow in the dark. This one's partial glow in the dark, I believe. Yeah, glow, glow paint exclusive. Wrestlingfigures.com. So I think that's ringside as well. But look at that. How cool is that? And the box again, the art on it. It just, it just looks brilliant, doesn't it? It really does. I hope that camera's picking it up because it's a really cool figure. I really like this one. And this last one. This is like a almost fully glow in the dark. And it also comes with a glow in the dark title as well. Look at that. So cool. Now, I don't know if people are a Jeff Hardy fan. If you're not, apologize, but I'm a big fan. And these three from Jack's back in the TNA day, so good. And again, look at the box art. It's just a piece of art, isn't it? It really is. You've got to love it. So yeah, for me, all three of these, fantastic. <laughs> um, just before, I've got this one in front of me. The box is battered. Um, it should be not as good as I can, but it is see there the ringside rebel of jeff hardy it's kind of the best way i can describe it it's like a a barbie doll kind of size and style but look at the detail on that these things it's so cool i, I love that it's a really cool piece um want to show off the the mattel ones more recent ones you've got the old ultimate edition jeff um i'm still not a massive fan of the torso i feel like he should have been a bit slimmer but overall it is a good figure you can't can't deny that, it's got to be said. Uh, the entrance, great. I'm not going to press the button, but it does play his entrance music because uh, YouTube will just hit copyright probably. Um, but yeah, these these were cool. And this is, in fact, where's the one second? Here he is. So this was the one that was released. This is the series one. It's not a series one, it's like a Chinese knockoff of it. But that was what should have, well, kind of what the series one elite would have looked like if Jeff hadn't have been released back then. Um, but this is what we got. What, 10 years later, eight years later, whatever, you know it. Such a cool piece, really cool, isn't it? Is it getting the face paint on there? Yeah, it's all cool. Really cool piece. Uh, what else we got from Mattel that I want to show? This one, so cool. It is that WrestleMania pop. Probably one of the best WrestleMania pops ever in my eyes. But as you can see there, can I get it? Is it gonna show up on camera? The sleeve detail, the face scan. It's just a great Jeff Hardy. It's a great Team Extreme, the Hardy Boys. Will they reunite AEW? Will Matt bring Brother Nero to him? Brother Nero, I knew you'd come. Who knows? We could go down that storyline if you want to do that. 
like I say, he's, you know, he's done. <laughs> His body's been through a lot, Jeff Hardy, you know. If he wanted to call it a day, you're a legend, sir. But yeah, whatever he chooses to do next, maybe it is with his brother, who knows. But this, yeah, such a cool piece from Mattel. Really good bit. Um, did want to show this one as well. This is, these are underrated. There's two of these, Jeff Hardy's, two Jeffs they made. The other one I don't own. It's one of the few pieces of Jeff I don't own because uh, I ain't paying through the roof for stuff. Uh, but yeah, Ring Giant. What a cool piece. These are underrated. Look at the face scan on this thing. So cool. I've got a whole bunch of these. I feel like one day these are going to come around again and they'll be in fashion. Because they're just so cool. So articulated. You know, they're just brilliant pieces. They really are. But yeah, this was this is my favourite Jeff because it's more colourful than the other one. Um, but... If I ever had a chance to get the other one, I would, don't get me wrong, but these are so cool. Really like it. Uh, retro, let's just give a quick shout out. There we go. The Hardy Boys will give the phone finger a quick shout. It's got to be hard, hasn't it, if you're a Jeff Hardy fan? Let's show the other side to you. Too extreme. But yeah, let's shout out to this retro as well. The Jeff Hardy retro. I've got a few of these. Someone recently pretty much near enough gave me one. It was that cheap, but yeah. I... <sighs> I do sound like a broken record, I apologise, because I am biased, I'm a Jeff Hardy fan. But for me, it's just a cool piece, really cool. And obviously, my childhood was Hasbro, so, you know, that helps as well. Uh, what was this one? This one's a Jax, is another kind of series that was underrated. Uh, Unmatched Fury for Jeff Hardy, you see there, he's like, where can I show you? Uh, you can see there, on the back, if you got it out of the box, um, he would be doing like a, a swanton almost off the rope, if you set it up. With the turnbuckle that's there. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, such a cool piece. Such a cool piece. I've got a couple of those actually. I might open one one day. I don't know why I never have. Let's just give another shout out to this guy as well. Haha, <laughs> the wrestling buddy. I think this was a ringside exclusive, was it not? It doesn't say on there. Maybe it's just a WWE shot one. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. if you want to <laughs> wrestle somebody, you know, maybe Jeff Hardy, sparring partner. <laughs> don't know why I'm doing sound effects. That's crazy, isn't it? But yeah, these things are awesome. I love them. Uh, there is another plush, actually. Let me just get over here one sec. Here's a little one. In fact, you've never been out of the packet. But yeah, Bleacher Creature, Jeff Hardy. That's a really cool piece. Um, yeah, I could go on and on because I've got that many, but I'll take a few more picks. In fact, just what I've got here. My favourite Elite is over here, so I'll just grab it and show you. It's the Survivor Series Elite we did. hope it's picking it up. But yeah, this for me. Just a brilliant elite. I think it's one of the best ones. I really do. I think the detail on the arms, the face scan, everything about it is just absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, that's up there. Anyway, let me grab some pictures of some other stuff just so you can see a bit. Guys, nearly forgot as well, this beauty, it's the uh, TNA title, kind of Jeff Hardy influence, isn't it? He was, like I say, I absolutely love this. I Obviously it is a, it's a bootleg, they didn't think we ever made these officially, but yeah, these, look at this, I'm just trying to show you the detail of it, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, I'm a big fan, obviously, Jeff Hardy, I've probably said it a few times, haven't I, in this video, but he is one of, if not the best of all time. Um, yeah, I'm biased, but it's such a cool piece to have, isn't it? Um, anyway, I hope you did enjoy looking for a, a bit of the collection. One day I might get it all out if I can find it, but for now, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace, and let's roll to the outro.
Massive thank you guys for watching this video to the end. Do like and subscribe to the channel. And a massive thank you to Velvet Sky who did the intro to this video. Check her out, links below. Do remember code AJWF. It will save you money at wrestlebox.co.uk and it'll also save you money at Cella Toys. Get those retro figures in while you can. Remember guys, the hashtag, we want Dana. <laughs> we love Dana, she is best for business. Go check out some of our other videos. This has been AJWF. Thank you.